Twisted aliens and demented cultists battle across the devastating science fiction world of Dark Age. Master your forces and learn to survive at beastsofwar.com. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. Hello and welcome to another War Machine Tips and Tactics video. And what are we looking at today? Uh, today we're going to talk about the concept of being able to see kill angles and getting creative kills. Mm -hmm. So often when people first get introduced to War Machine, they, they find themselves getting assassinated because the game ends when your Warcaster or your Warlock dies. Yep. And they're like, I never saw that coming. I never saw that coming. And so we're just going to talk about being able to understand all the different uh, tools you have at your disposal and how you can you can get a kill. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing you always, always want to look at is do you have any abilities that allow you to manipulate the enemy's position? Mm -hmm. Do you have a way to push them, pull them? And since all models, uh, all heavy models, uh, War Jacks, War Beasts, have the ability to slam most of them have the ability to throw as well. Mm -hmm. You can always sort of push things away, but sometimes you have ways to pull things towards you. Yeah. So this is sort of, again, understanding the full rule set of War Machine and knowing how casters work, how jacks work, and just being able to see the vectors. So we're just going to show a simple example here to mm -hmm. talk about a creative kill of how I could get Beth Maddox here killed with what I've got in the current situation. Yeah. Give you an idea of how you can, you, you need to look for different possible angles mm -hmm. and how you can get those. So... My wrecker here is speed five. He has a, uh, a two inch melee range on his, his weapons. So if we measure out 10 inches here, I see that he is just outside of charge range of getting to Maddox. And I, I really want to get him into Maddox. If yeah. I can get him in there, he's, he's dead. So I look at the tools available I have to me. Uh, one of them is I, I could charge in with my wrecker uh, into this jack here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have the, the beat back ability. It says if I hit it, I knock it back one inch and I can follow up yeah. one inch. So I can literally beat a model back and then get myself into position against Matic. But the Lancer is actually a little bit harder for my monstrosity to, to hit because of set defense on a charge. Yep. Uh, and because of that, uh, I'd also be spending my initial focus attacking the Warjack when I really want to be spending that focus boosting attack and maybe damage rolls on the caster. Yeah. So I look at my caster and say, what tools do I possibly have to, to get Maddox in here? And the answer is I actually have a spell that allows me to pull enemy models towards me okay so he has a spell called gallows it costs three of my focus to cast and uh when i cast it it's, it's range 10 if i hit an enemy model with it i pull them d6 inches yeah. now what we're going to do is casters can cast spells before they move mm -hmm. after they move and before and in between attacks they just can't interrupt the actual physical movement or rolling dice yeah and often your most creative kills are going to come off your your casters mm -hmm. right so if i cast gallows my caster activates first and cast Gallows on the Lancer. Mm -hmm. uh, being focused at seven, he's defense 13. I only need a six to hit, and that's easy enough. Yep. And then uh, I would pull him D6 inches straight towards me. So yeah. if I roll that distance, I can see I pull him four inches straight towards me. The best part about doing uh, tactics t uh, tips when you're actually rolling dice is having the dice work out for you every single time. <laughs> so. Uh, I would then roll damage on the Lancer, but for the purposes of this, it's it's kind of yeah. a moot. But the, now... The important thing is, this is not out of position. Correct. And yeah. my caster is also outside of the 10-inch range of that Gallows spell, mm -hmm. but I cast the spell before I moved. Yeah. So now, I can say my caster advances up, gets within 10 inches, easily, of Maddox. I spend three to cast Gallows again, mm -hmm. and this time I actually spend a focus to boost the attack roll because it's so vital to my assassination. Yeah. Uh, and I hit with authority. Awesome. I pull her, Maddox, towards me, D6 inches, pulling her three, which is more than enough. Yep. Her going three inches forward, she gets pulled up to here. She takes a fair amount of damage off the spell itself, and mm -hmm. now suddenly I've got her in ten inch, uh, that 10-inch threat range of the Wrecker. Yep. I can spin one, charge him in eight. I don't have to try and do a, a beat back or anything else. I found a, a cleaner, uh, more efficient way to, mm -hmm. to get her in threat range. I've done some extra damage with my caster, yep. and now I've got the wrecker, full the two extra focus, two initial attacks charging in, and Beth Maddox is, is probably dead in this situation. Yeah. So a key to getting a caster kill is knowing 
what your threat angles are, and more importantly, how you can manipulate the, the your opponent's board position. Mm -hmm. A lot of smart players are going to keep their casters far behind, they're going to keep them well protected, they're going to keep them behind enemy models. So outside of slams and throws, what spells and abilities do you have that will let you push, pull, or just move things out of the way in any way to where you can get to that caster? And this was a melee example. Yeah. If I was playing a gun line, it becomes even easier because I can move about, get those shots in, mm -hmm. and if I can just take out a couple key pieces, I can see that kill coming. Yeah. So, a, a pretty quick one, mm -hmm. but all about getting stuff out of position, getting your opponent's models out of the position that he really wanted them, or she, wanted them in. Yeah. So, you get them out of the way, drag them about. Gallows is a fantastic little spell, as you've just demonstrated. Yeah, uh, um, Cognitive Effects, so any spells that let you move enemy models like Gallows, Telekinesis, uh, abilities like that are always incredibly powerful, and you always want to know when you've got them and when your opponent's got them. Yeah. Uh, and also just uh, rules such as drag. There's, a, for instance, the uh, the Reaper in Crix has a ranged uh, harpoon gun. Mm -hmm. If it hits somebody, it can drag him in. A lot of times a new player might be like, oh, it'd be cool to drag in the enemy Warcaster and, and pull him in. Actually, think about dragging the model that's in front of them out of the way yeah. so that you can get something into that caster. Clear the path and then punch them. Yeah, yeah. and remember, it, it, even if they've got 70 models on the board, if you can sort of part the sea and get to the caster and finish the game, yep. game's over, game's you over. win. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, a, a pretty quick one, but I think from what I've seen so far, a very important thing to remember as well. Get your opponent out of position and then utilize that opening. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just take advantage of everything you have in the field. And more importantly, when you have multiple angles, such as you had the beatback way of getting to the caster, you had the gallows way, always assess your total efficiency. What is the best way to get the most attacks where I want them? The beatback method could have worked, mm -hmm. but having the, the caster gallows forward gave me more damage and more damage output and is yep. a better way to resolve the assassination. Yeah, because you're playing with the, the idea of, I don't want to go to you because I don't know, or maybe I do know, but you can't see it what's behind her. Yeah, you know, exactly. There might be a, a big unit behind her that you really don't want to have to face. Exactly. If you fail to kill the caster. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, that's another good little one for you guys. Um, put your comments down below if you're liking this little mini-series. Let us know what you think of it. And in the meantime, we shall go off and do our next one. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.